Uh, I taught all over the country actually. I wanted to go out and see things and something different um, and so I went to Florida and taught there for a while and I taught in Colorado for at three different districts in Colorado to uh, as I went from teacher to uh, principal. Uh, I was at three different districts just moving around <clears throat> going from a part-time teacher to a full-time teacher to an assistant principal at one of the high schools there and then uh, when I came back here I came pretty much straight to Kettering so I've uh, been here since 2006. Okay. I mean, I may have told you this before, but I've said there is, yeah, there is, you can tell me whatever's on your mind, you can tell me what happened because I've seen pretty much everything, I've heard it all, um, and every time I say that, uh, something new comes up. So uh, yeah, even after 11 years as a principal, I've seen new stuff, <laughs> new stuff in fact, recently, <laughs> that I've never seen before or heard of, but yeah, some pretty wild things happen. Um, that's uh, most importantly, um, kids impress me because they, some kids I don't think are going to do well. They do better uh, yeah. with a lot of work. Uh, that's something that's impressing me too, yeah. you know, kids do a good job uh, to see them grow. Yeah. That's pretty wild to me as well. Yeah. Uh, so it's kind of neat. Yeah. It's nice to be in high school because you have them for four years. Um, <clears throat> you know, if you're an elementary teacher, you know, you see kids one year, maybe, maybe two, and then middle school, just a couple of years. But, in high school, you get to see him grow from really kind of a kid to a um, young man or a young lady, and it's nice to see him. And, and then you also, you get to see him going off and doing other things after high school, which is, I don't always like to, you know, say that I, I visit with kids after high school. I don't they, don't, they don't come back and see me very often, but if they do, it's kind of cool, and uh, it's nice to hear that they're, that they're out there doing great things. I did bodybuilding shows in college because I was, uh, started joining this, uh, I went to Miami University, and um, I was lifting at the regular gym. And then some guy told me about this really kind of a cryptic gym uh, on the other side of town, other side of the campus. And I went in there, and there was all these guys who were just uh, lifting weight, weights a lot. They were really into it. I was really into it. Uh, I started asking what they were doing. They were doing a bodybuilding show. Uh, they were doing following certain diets and certain weight um, regimens and stuff. And so I said, "Why not?" So my freshman year, I did a, two bodybuilding shows, and then my sophomore year, I did two, the same two, and then my junior. I skipped that year to worry about my classes mm. and then my senior year because I had some really hard classes my junior year and then my senior year I did it again mm. um, so I don't know I was, I was like 175 probably there mm. but um, did Mr. Northern Kentucky and I did Mr. Miami uh, University and so now the thing about that is I actually took second place in Mr. Miami one year I had placed in the top four or five before, um, other years but I took second place the one year and they gave us swords it's pretty cool. These big swords, you know, they were probably, I mean, when I was standing up, they were up here. And uh, they had second place, Mr. Miami, written on them. So I was dating some girl in, high, in college, and I left that at our house. Well, I knew I left it there because I was going someplace I couldn't carry a sword. So I left it there. Well, I came back um, a little while later, and it was gone. It's still gone. I don't know <laughs> where it is. So I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out. This is 20 years later, I'm trying to figure out what she did with my sword. Like, did she have a party and someone picked it up? I don't know, but it stinks because now I have a couple trophies, but they aren't the second place. And they're on a sword. Yeah. Sword's a lot more That'd interesting, interesting you know, to hang on the wall. Yeah. <laughs> you want to hear what life's all about, right? I, yeah, you can just tell your... Because, yeah. in my opinion, as an educator, I have a philosophy of what life is all about. Okay. And so I always make sure I try to tell people. Okay. So, uh, my philosophy is, um, first of all, uh, it's real simple. Life's about what you learn and what you do with it. Okay? Now you can break that down into a lot of things. Right? What you learn from experiences, from friends, from school, from other places, right? And then what you do with it. Do you help people? Do you get a good job with it? Do you, you know, what, do you make people feel good about themselves? What do you do? How do you help the world some way? So, I think that's why I love schools. I mean, because Life's about what you learn from your experiences in school and with friends and so forth. And that's why I wanted to go out and see different things when I graduated from college and teach different places because I wanted to experience different things. And then hopefully I'm helping someone along the way. That's my whole idea and goal. That's why I, was, I became a principal and, and that's why I, um, I'm going to pursue other opportunities in education um, in the future.